The Danes taking up the pace on the main on the what was left of the main field. Alan Davis sitting about fourth position. They're going to come back. It's going to be all together with 700 metres to go in the World Championship. Alan Davis sitting about sixth position there. Tor Hushov is on Tor Hushov's wheel. Terpster hits out from the from the bottom. 500 metres from the finish. The Dutchman Nicky Terpster are going up the straight. Mouth open. Is he going to be swamped? They'll wait until the last moment to go. We've seen in all the sprints here, the last 120 metres is when you want to make the move. Nicky Terpstra has the advantage at the moment, but for how long? The Danes well positioned. Is it Sorensen? The German moving out there. Alan Davis in the middle of the screen on the Danish wheel. Perfect One of the position. Belgians, it's Sorensen on the outside. Here, he comes. Here comes Davis for Australia. He's following the wheel of Sorensen. He's not going to get there. Tor Hushoft. Tor Hushoft. Hushoft. It's the Norwegian gold medal. Tor Hushoft has in fact won it from a fellow Scandinavian in Sorensen. Applause from the rest of the field. Hushoft was the man coming home. It was Matty Breschel there from, got from Denmark. Tor Hushoff came here with only three riders, the Norwegian team. Two of them favourites, and Tor Hushoff, the god of thunder, powers up Marubal Street to take out the world championship. Incredible ride for a guy of his size to get over those last climbs, especially when uh, you look at, we said, 40 or 50 kilometres to go, they were out of the race. Well, amazing effort to, to get that big, heavy body of his over the climb so many times. It was an elite group, that's for sure. Oscar Freire was out there as well, but couldn't get his fourth world championship. Alan Davis was in perfect posi position for that sprint, but unfortunately just didn't quite have that final punch to get over the line. And the Norwegians in the crowd, and there are quite a number of them, know their man's got it. The God of Thunder has clapped here in Geelong and taken it. Scandinavian 1-2 as Davis held on for the bronze. It looks like an Australian bronze medal as the Norwegian salutes. I think Matty Breschel from Denmark as he bangs the handlebars comes in second. And here we go. Tor Hushoff going to the left. Alan Davis on Matty Breschel's wheel. Oh, I can see the power of Hushoff. Davis just didn't quite have it to come off Breschel's wheel. Tor right there, he knows he's got it. Let's see Fast the finishing can Italian. Hang on. Oh, a throw on the line might have given the Italian no. third place. Do you think Davis? No, has got I think it? Davis held on there. It was very fast finishing Italian, but I'm pretty sure Alan Davis holds on for the bronze medal. Never know, he might have a first time ever double draw for <laughs> third. Here it is again, Tor Hushov. The crowning moment of his career. Sprinting to the World Championship. Yeah, Alan Davis gets it for third. Bronze medal for Australia. Fantastic effort after Cadell Evans picking up the rainbow jersey last year. So that means that the six World Championships decided in Geelong have gone to six different nations as Norway take the title here on the road circuit and confirmation of Alan Davis's bronze medal. Matty Breschel from Denmark, the silver. Pizzato it was that flew home, but not soon enough. And the strong man sprinter, Tor Hushoff from Norway, has taken the gold medal after 162.7 or 262.7 kilometres of racing. Six hours and 20 minutes on the road. Frank Schleck was uh, there and about, but it all came back together inside the last two kilometres. And I think Cadell Evans can be proud of the way he defended the World Championship. And of course, that uh, at the end of the day, really didn't suit his stature, you know, six months ago, people.